हेलो एवरीवन सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट एंटीजन प्रेजेंटेशन द प्रोसेस बाय विच एंटीजन दे आर प्रेजेंटेड टू इम्यून सेल्स सो दैट इज नोन एज एंटीजन प्रेजेंटेशन द पाथवे ऑफ एंटीजन प्रेजेंटेशन विल आल्सो बी कवर्ड इन दिस लेक्चर सो विदाउट एनी डिले लेट स्टार्ट द वीडियो सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वट इज एंटीजन प्रेजेंटेशन सो एज आई टोल्ड एंटीजन प्रेजेंटेशन इज अ प्रोसेस बाय विच an antigen is presented to immune cells so here like this is the antigen and if this is the immune cell that is t cell so the t cell they do not recognize the antigen alone means they require the antigen complex with mhc if antigen is without mhc so the t cells they do not recognize or you can say they do not bind to that alone antigen like this if this alone antigen is the antigen without mhc is present and comes near this t cell this t cell will not recognized or it will not bind to this antigen as a result there will be no immune response in order for the functioning of this t cell they require the antigen complex with mhc that is major histocompatibility complex so if the antigen comes along with mhc here in this diagram this dummy man represent the mhc molecule and it carries the antigen on its hand so when the antigen comes with mhc only in that case the t cells they will recognize and bind to antigen once they bind to antigen then they will show the immune response so the process by which antigen and mhc complex is recognized by the t cells the this process is known as the antigen presentation now the pathways of antigen presentation include two pathways first is the cytosolic pathway and another is the endocytic pathway so cytosolic pathway here in this case only the endogenous antigens with the antigen which are present inside our body they presented to t cell via this cytosolic pathway here these endogenous antigens which may either be tumor proteins or viral proteins so they are processed within the cytoplasm and bind to class 1 mhc molecule and presented to t cytotoxic cells while in case of endocytic pathway here the exogenous antigens they are complex with class 2 mhc molecule and they are phagocytosed ultimately presented to the t helper cells so by these two pathways that is cytosolic and endocytic pathway the t cells they recognize their antigens now let's discuss both of these pathway in detail step by step so first is the cytosolic pathway so as i told in the cytosolic pathway the endogenous antigens they are presented to cytotoxic t cells so the step include first like this is a typical cell representing the nucleus the rer means rough endoplasmic reticulum and golgi complex here in the first step the antigens it is degraded into small antigenic peptides by proteasome like here you can clearly see this is a protein molecule which can act as antigen and here the ubiquitin protein it surround this endogenous protein which is acting as antigen here so it surround this protein antigenic protein and now this antigenic protein will move toward this proteasome which is a protein degrading complex and as the endogenous protein it entered into proteasome this proteasome it split the protein into small antigenic peptide which can you can clearly see here in this animation now these antigenic this small antigenic peptides now they are move into the rough endoplasmic reticulum for this there is a protein that is tap means transport associated protein 
through which these antigenic peptides they move into the rough endoplasmic reticulum as you can see here these antigenic peptides are now moving through tap into the rough endoplasmic reticulum now from RER they will move means within this RER they will bind to class 1 MHC molecule like here this green shape it represents the class 1 MHC molecule and within RER these small antigenic peptides they bind to this class 1 MHC molecule. Now this MHC peptide complex move to the Golgi complex and ultimately it moves via secretory vesicle to the surface of the cell. Now as you can see the MHC complex this MHC peptide complex is now on the surface of cell so it can be recognized by T cells and here in the cytotoxic pathway it is recognized by cytotoxic T cell that is TC cell. Once TC cell recognized and bind this MHC protein complex it will get activated and now it will perform the immune function either it will kill that cell or it may give the signals. Generally the T cytotoxic cells they directly kill the cells containing this antigen and protein complex. So this is the cytosolic pathway. Next pathway is endocytic pathway. Here this in, in the case of endocytic pathway the exogenous antigens means the antigens which are uh, outside the body from outside they enter inside our body. So these are endogenous uh, sorry exogenous antigens they are processed and presented via endocytic pathway. Here this cell is the macrophage which is which you can say it is a phagocytic cell. So this yellow color shape it represents the exogenous antigens with the antigen which is coming inside the body from outside. So the first step is the internalization of antigen means the first of all this antigen the exogenous antigen it enter inside the body and it is engulf or you can say phagocytosed by this macrophage like here you can clearly see the exogenous antigen is now inside the macrophage and from here the process of phagocytosis begin. So first this exogenous antigen is engulfed by the phagosome and in the next step the antigenic peptides will be generated. For this the lysosome as we know the lysosome they contain the hydrolytic enzyme. So now this lysosome it uh, uh, you will say that the lysosome will perform the function of creation of antigenic peptides. So this exogenous antigen now move from this phagosome to lysosome as you can clearly see with this animation and inside the lysosome it will be degraded into small peptides via the hydrolytic enzymes of lysosome. As you can see it is degraded into small antigenic peptides. Now in the next step these peptides these small antigenic peptides they will bind to the class 2 MHC molecule. As you can see this is the class 2 MHC that is MHC 2 molecule and these peptides they will bind to the MHC 2 molecule. Now this MHC 2 molecule and antigenic peptide complex will be presented to the T helper cell. So it will move to the surface of cell as you can clearly see and now it is exposed to the T helper cell. So the T helper cells will recognize and bind this antigen and MHC2 complex. After recognizing and binding with this complex the T helper cell will get activated and it will release the signals to activate other cells like B cells and TC cells and ultimately perform the immune response. So these are the two pathways by which the antigen is presented to T cell. One is the cytosolic pathway and other is the endocytic pathway. So this is all about the antigen presentation and the pathways of antigen presentation. So that's all for today guys. See you in the next video. Thank you very much.